Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're ready to calculate the heat flow through a double pane window. A double pane window is a window that has a pane of glass on one side, a pane of glass on the other side, and has some gas in between. It can be air typically, or sometimes they fill it with another gas. Here for comparison, we calculated the heat flow across a single pane window, which means a single pane of glass. And so we use the equation that Q dot dQ dt is equal to the difference in the temperature between the inside and the outside and divided by the heat resistance, which is the thickness of the layer divided by the heat conductivity constant and the cross-sectional area. In this case, the difference in temperature is 20 centigrade degrees. The thickness of the glass is a half a centimeter converted to meters. The K is 0.8 watts per meter per Kelvin, and the cross-sectional area, we took it as a square meter, and it turned out it's 3,200 watts of heat across that window pane. Now, that seems like a lot, because if you only have single-pane windows in your house, you can imagine you'd be losing a lot of heat. But notice that we are ignoring convection on the inside and the outside, which play a big role in transferring heat through window panes. So we're ignoring that here in the next section when we're dealing with heat conductivity, well, not heat conductivity, but heat transfer because of convection, we'll take that into account, but for now we're not going to do so. So for comparison, we're going to calculate the heat flow across a double pane window with air in between. Notice the air layer in between is one centimeter across, and the, the glass of panes, the pane, well, the sections of glass, uh, the window panes are 0.5 centimeters wide. Again, the difference in temperature is 20 degrees, and notice that the window area, the cross-section area, is also one square meter. So let's compare the two. Now the equation we're going to use is the equation we saw in the previous video, where Q dot is equal to the difference in the temperature, delta T from the inside to the outside, divided by the sum of all the heat conductivities, or not the heat conductivities, but the sum of all the heat resistances. So we have delta X for the first layer, divided by K1 times A, plus delta X of the second layer, K2 times A plus delta X of the third layer divided by K3 times A. And so let's go ahead and plug in all the values. I can do that right here. So we have Q dot is equal to, the difference in the temperature is 20 centigrade degrees divided by delta X1. I'll leave off the units to make it a little bit cleaner. So delta X1 is going to be 0 0.005 divided by K1, which is the same K we have here, that's 0 0.8, times 1 for the cross-sectional area, plus, now notice that the heat conductivity of air, again, ignoring convection, so we're ignoring any air movement in between the two panes of glass, so we have K of 0 0.02, but first of all, we have the thickness, 1 centimeter converted to meters, we have 0 0.026, and one square meter for the area plus, and then repeat for the second pane of glass, like so. All right, now we need a calculator to figure out what that is, and the answer is going to be in watts. So taking the denominator, 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.8, and we multiply it times two because we have two of those terms, we add that to the middle term, 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.026, equals, take the inverse of that, and then multiply that times 20. And we get about 50, 50.4, or just say that here we can say that Q dot is equal to 50 watts instead of the 3200 watts for a single pane window. So you can see there's a huge difference in the heat transfer through a double pane window compared to a single pane window, ignoring convection on both sides of the glass. Now, that is a big deal. The difference is not going to be nearly that large when we take convection into account, but at least at this point, yes, not kind of convection, there's a tremendous heat loss through a single pane window as compared to a double pane window. And that is how it's done.